Today's tailgate, gourmet steak sandwiches. Yeah, this week's tailgate, we're gonna do something special. We're gonna make my favorite steak sandwich. It's the sandwich that I make for my family. We love it. Now, I normally make them with my regular steaks that I get at my local supermarket. Cool, right? And they come out fantastic. Well, this week we got super lucky. We got sent some beautiful, beautiful prime ribeyes from Golden Steer. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about them. Now, Golden Steer is one of the oldest and most iconic steakhouses in all of Las Vegas. They actually originally gained their notoriety from the famous and infamous patrons that frequented the steakhouse, Marilyn Monroe, Frank Sinatra, and Tony the Ants Spolotro even. Now these are USDA prime steaks. They come from the top 6% of all beef in America. They actually wet age them for about 30 days for just absolute maximum tenderness and flavor. They actually butcher all of their meat in-house, which means that you're getting about 30% more meat than you do with a lot of competitors. With each steak box that you order, it comes with this. It comes with au jus, maitre d' butter, and Sergio's special seasoning that we're gonna use today. A gourmet sandwich needs a gourmet sauce, and it's really simple. Now, I made one ahead of time. I made it about two days ago, because you want all these flavors to get together and meld and join and enjoy each other and become one, all right? We're gonna start with one cup of mayo, plain and simple, whatever kind you like, Hellman's, Duke's, whatever one. Tell me which one you like better in the comments. You blue top or are you team Duke's? Let me know. In any case, horseradish, kosher salt, some pepper, and some chopped chives. I'm gonna show you how to assemble this. It's really easy. We're gonna go into the fridge and let it melt together. Like I said, we start with one cup of mayo, and we're gonna go with a tablespoon of prepared horseradish. Prepared horseradish being the key word there. Next thing up is one half teaspoon of kosher salt. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. I like to crack my own. So, a couple little spins of the pepper mill here. Two tablespoons of chopped chives. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Our next step we're gonna do is we're gonna season our steaks. We're gonna use this, it's Sergio's seasoning came with it, salt and pepper. We're just gonna use, we were just normally using salt and pepper, kosher salt and cracked black pepper to season our steak. Now, we're gonna do this now because we want these steaks to suck in as much flavor as possible. So we're gonna season them real nicely like this. And what's gonna happen is that as we're heating the grill and as we're making the peppers and onions, the, the steak is actually gonna release juices. It's gonna grab those seasonings, okay? I know you're saying release juices. It's gonna release juices grab those seasonings and pull that back in. That, li that liquid's gonna pull back into the steak, pull all that flavor down into the steak so that the whole steak has nice flavor all the way through when it's cooked. Steaks are all seasoned, like I said. We're gonna let them sit for a while. So let me put these away. And now, for our gourmet sandwich, we're gonna make gourmet topping. Peppers, onions, jalapeno for a little bit of zippy spice, and some absolutely beautiful baby bella mushrooms. We're gonna slice all this up. How could you have a tailgate party in your own backyard? Because it's South Florida and it's raining again. But what's the whole idea of the tailgate party? Take your grill with you, right? So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna take our grill with us. And we're gonna cook here instead. It's a wild tailgate, people. We're using today, we're using our regular grilling charcoal, our black bag premium charcoal. Let's fill her up. We're gonna keep this nice and simple. Two starters, one on either side. A little hole for them. Let's light these babies up. Now, I know that so far this seems like a lot, right? You got the sauce, you got the peppers, the onions, blah, blah, blah. You know, all of this stuff, do that at home a couple days before the game. So this way, when you get out to your tailgate, all you have to do is set up your grill, light it, and cook. What we're going to do today is we're going to keep, once this is burning good, we're going to put our pan on here, cook our sauce, cook our peppers and onions, our spicy peppers and onions, woo -hoo. Ain't no party like a tailgate party, because a tailgate party don't stop. Oh, hey there. Okay, so... We got our peppers and onions, you can tell them they're sizzling away and they're starting to steam here, so we're gonna add some ingredients. Now, if you remember from our peppers and sausage and peppers and onions video, I put a secret ingredient into my peppers and onions. Can anybody tell me what it is out there? You in the blue shirt. Cinnamon. No, not cinnamon. Sugar. We're gonna put some sugar in. I just take a little pinch of sugar, not a ton, just enough to help it caramelize. A little bit of extra flavor, add some sweetness. Just like me, nice and sweet. <laughs> some kosher salt. Boom. And we're gonna grind some black pepper in there. I like to put it on the coarsest grind and get some nice chunks in there. Don't have to overdo it, just some flavoring. Remember, I know you said, oh, we put salt and pepper on the steaks already, right? We're gonna season every single part of this process. Everything gets seasoned this way in the end. Flavor explosion, touchdown, field goal, all of that good stuff. 
Now let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, football fans everywhere, our peppers, onions, and mushrooms are done. Look at that. Man, they look good, don't they? Woo! They, they smell even better. So I'm just going to set these to the side in our tailgate party. And now it's time for the steaks. We've got a beautiful fire going. So let's waste no time, no flag on the play, no penalties. We're going right into steak cooking. Little trick to save you some time and effort at the tailgate party. You saw I had the raw steaks on here. Well, if you want to save and don't want to have to bring 75 different dishes out there, I'm just going to wrap this in foil, put it right back on here. When the steaks are done, put them right back on here. Same plate, no muss, no fuss, tailgate action. All right, we've got about three minutes on this side, so we're going to give it a flip. We're cooking direct, so we don't want it to burn. Look at that. Ooh wee All right, let's check them out. Oh, yeah, they're smelling and looking good, good, good. All right, 125, 126. So we're going to pull this first one. Okay, again, like I said, look at that. Is that beautiful or what? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So we're going to leave that there. Now this other one here is a little bit fatter, so it's going to take a little longer. Let's see where we're at. 104, 103, something like that. So we're going to leave that on there. But we're going to do two different ways, okay? So this one, I'm going to take some of these peppers and onions and mushrooms. Okay, I'm gonna set it right on top here. Set it right on top, just like that. And then, the secret ingredient, super sharp picante provolone cheese. So, steaks are off, those look beautiful. And take our beautiful buns. We got these gorgeous hamburger buns. I'm just gonna toast these up for a couple seconds here. Now you gotta be careful with this. You don't want to burn them, and they will burn quickly. I promise you. Quicker than running back heading towards the end zone. All right, now I used bone in ribeyes because I love the flavor that, that bone gives. So we're just gonna cut this right off the bone. And I now have a snack for later. Oh, look at that. Is that a perfectly cooked steak or what? All right, so we got our cheese on there. So we grab some of this beautiful medium rare steak, load it up. You can put as much as you want on there. It doesn't matter. It's not going to go to waste, I promise you. You want a good amount of meat on this sandwich. Now we take some of our beautiful peppers and onions that we made up. Remember those peppers and onions? Look at that. Oh, yeah. Spread them evenly. Get some mushrooms in there. Give a nice, healthy dose. Oh, that's going to be good. You think we're done with that? No. We've got this arugula. You know what arugula is? It's a vegetable. Did you ever see a My Blue Heaven, Steve Martin? I highly recommend it. Take your bun and give it a good schmear. You want a bunch of it on there. Get that flavor come through. Get that horseradish. We take it and we top our sandwich. Boom. That is a gourmet tailgate steak sandwich if I've ever seen one. Now this is going to be the fun sandwich. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this one off of the bone as well. First thing we do, we don't, we don't, already got the cheese on there, so we're not going to do that. We're going to layer it with arugula. Then we're going to take this steak and we're going to, we're not going to do anything. We're going to put this whole steak right on that sandwich. Look at that. Yeeha! A little bit of our sauce here. Remember this horseradish sauce? Remember this beautiful creamy horseradish sauce? Now that is a steak sandwich. What's a steak sandwich? And that, folks, is a tailgate steak sandwich right there. Kicked up 45 Fogo notches, baby. Woo, is that awesome. Look at the way that steak is cooked. I mean, that's just gorgeous. It doesn't get any nicer than that. It's tender. It's delicious. I think there's really only one left, one thing left to do here, if I can even manhandle this thing. Who else puts an entire steak on a sandwich, huh? Only Fogo Charcoal does and Captain Ron. So I'm going to take a bite and let's see what we think of this sandwich, because it looks pretty, doesn't mean it tastes good. If I could spike it in the end zone, I would. Mm. 
God, that is so good. Ah. Oh my goodness. I mean, I know I've said it before, touchdown, field goal, that is a, a two-point conversion, extra points right there. Holy smokes, is that unbelievably good. Between the, uh, the, the, like, the bitterness where it is from the arugula, the peppers and onions, and that little jalapeno just gives it a little tiny spice, the provolone cheese. I use picante provolone, really sharp boar's head provolone. Fantastic for this sandwich. That is a winner of a sandwich right there, okay? I, you can't miss with that. You will be the envy of all your friends at the tailgate party. I know it's a little bit kicked up, all right? But tailgates don't have to be hamburgers and hot dogs. This is simple to make, and it's outstanding. Five-star tailgating. That's what I call this right here. That's it for this, this one. Don't forget, tune in, get out and grill, and remember, I'll see you next time on The Fogo Life.